Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Last episode guys, we got two grizzly bears in here and we are making money. We're making quite a bit of money now. Uh, these guys hang out back here quite a bit, but they do... Wow, look at him go. Look at him go. What a spectacular specimen. Uh, these guys are pretty awesome. They do come up the front if they want food. Uh, but they, they tend to stay back here away from everyone's eyes. So uh, you can eventually unlock a two-way glass, but I think... Uh, you have to do that in the workshop. So if we were to come over here um, One of these will be the workshop that one there um, I think we can go view workshop and then we can get them to obviously research habitats here uh, What else? Yeah, you can get like solar panels food shops different things like that uh, This guy's meant to be looking after the park So we might have to get another one and I also like to because I forgot to last episode is come along here and actually make this every six months that they come and check the fences and things because we don't want bears getting out loose on the patients guys that would just be silly as you can see he's actually doing it right now he's checking on the fences and the barrier status has just gone up to 100% now because he's just checked it so that's pretty cool uh, today guys I'd like to get another habitat animal in here maybe do some more decorations around the middle here uh, make this thing look uh, a lot nicer. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got nice wide paths here, but I did notice last episode that people were going to be getting stuck here. So we will be moving all of this out a bit and making this path a lot wider because we want people walking through the middle here, but then you just have all these people in the line in the way at the very entrance. So that was a bit of a silly mistake, guys, but that's okay. Right, we have the bears in. They are happy. That is very good. We need to check on this. No security guard. That's fine with me. Uh, we actually have a gift. What is the gift? Uh, overall profits. There we go. Uh, claim reward. Earn a yearly profit of two grand. What do we get for that? I, I don't know. I think we got a grand for that. Vet research is complete. Okay. We have researched the grizzly bears quite a few times now. So the grizzly bears are going to have lots more fun stuff to do. So let's just quickly, quickly go into the habitat stuff with the grizzly bear. Get some more enrichment items so we can put herb scents around now and we can give them some boxes to play with I'll put the box there and up the front so they have to come play with them and i'll put a few of these things around as well these boxes and things they just sort of throw around anyway so uh, if we put that this way and make sure they have to come over here to use it they should be able to there we go so people can definitely see the grizzly bears from here um, also, actually, before we move on to the next animal, let's just quickly go into facilities. Uh, do not feed. Yeah, definitely don't feed these guys. Um, there is something in here. We want to get some signs going. We can put them on there if we want. I don't really want to do that, actually. I think what we'll do is get... Uh, this is that. Those two together there. So that's quite simple. You just got to do that this way. I don't know which way this is facing. That way. I want it to face this way. Is that going to obstruct the view of the bears, though? Yeah, you know what, guys? Let's just put these on here. Put one here. Now, all this is is a screen. Um, and if we click off here, we can click on it. All right, guys. We're actually going to place one there as well. And if you click on them, you can switch them to say things about the grizzly bear. Wait, how have they got power? I haven't put a power thing in. You know what? We must get power from somewhere else. If we click on these heat maps up here, click on power. What's providing that power? Oh, the front gate provides power. Oh, fantastic. Okay. As you can see down here, we're now educating people. The education down the bottom has gone up. So that is very good. Our thirst is apparently not good. We need to put in some more gulpy sodas around. Or either that or no one's working in here. Oh, yeah. The vendors are, uh, they're, they're taking a break. So we're going to need another staff room over here, I believe. Um, so let's quickly do that. Let's get this boring stuff out of the way, guys, and I'll be right back. Research is coming in pretty quick for these grizzly bears, guys. That's awesome. They're, they're loving their job. All right, it's actually raining here. We've got another staff room up now. So that's good. That's what we needed. We've got that over there. Someone was complaining about that. It is miserable here. Uh, we need to hire some extra staff here. We need another vendor. That's for damn sure. There we go. Hopefully you'll just jump on in one of those shops. And there we go. So those two can take shifts now. 
with the other people that are there. So hopefully if we have three people, the scout jump in here. Okay. So hopefully if we have three people, yeah. Okay. Every shop's filled up now. Hopefully they can rest and they go and take breaks and things, guys. They only work for a certain amount of time. So yeah. I don't know what's going on. Um, it says we need a security guard, but there's no crime, so I'm not going to bother with that for now. Um, our money's going up, but the rain is obviously going to make that a lot worse. Hmm. Not ideal. Maybe this picnic area needs covering, but for now I'm going to leave it. Uh, that is that is a lot of money we can't afford right now. So, we need some more. Oh, I should have put this path off this way, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, definitely should have put this path off this way, because this is only going to come back one. You know what? I'm going to fix that again. We are back. And one more thing to let you guys know. Uh, these things have like a negative impact on guests. So if you click on the heat maps down here and then go negative impact on guests, they have this little red thing. So if a guest ever comes within this area, it'll have a negative impact on them, which is why I uh, am not putting them around like anywhere near. Like I could just put them right on the path, but I don't think that's a good idea. Yes, yeah, low on cash. That is a bit of an issue, actually. Total profit. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna be chill for a bit, guys. See if we can make some money, and when when I come back, hopefully it'll be daytime, and we can uh, pause the game and do some building on a new enclosure. All right, my friends, the snow has gone, it's cleared up, and the sun is now out. So I think what we're gonna do. We've got eight grand. Hopefully that's enough to build an enclosure over here. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. So. Let's see what animals there are, because first of all, we want to check the animals to see what we can get. So there's hippos. Hippos would be cool. Um, I would like to make a lot more money so that we can actually give these guys like really, really cool enclosures, because, uh, yeah, it's just a bit silly. Page one. So we got grizzlies, aardvarks. Are these cool? I mean, yeah, people want to come see these by the looks of it. Um, saltwater crocodile. See, these things I can give, like, pretty average cages to at the beginning here. And when we have more money, we can probably build some better stuff. So, hmm. These guys, these guys aren't the greatest. Okay, this guy's not that bad. Um, we need to find out how they live. So let's have a look in the Zoopedia. Natural habitat. So they only need 330 meters. That's quite good. Only a grade 2 fence. Pretty average temperature here. Um, tropical and grassland from Africa. Okay, you know what? That's probably pretty easy, guys. I think we should do that. Um, wait, fence type was grade two. Okay. So if we come into barriers and we look, we have a grade two here. Semi-transparent, -trans um, climbable, not watertight. Okay, but I think this will do because people can see through it. That'll That'll do nicely. Um, I think around the front, we'll put in glass. So what we want to do, I don't think you can bend the glass to start off with, so we're going to have to put a nice bendy, a bendy bit in here again, guys. If we just increase this a little bit, put a nice fence around. Anyways, guys, I'll build a nice fence and I'll be right back. I think I'll just time lapse this for you.
Alrighty guys, that is enough for that just now. They have a nice little flat pen to live in for now. We'll make it a lot better later on, obviously. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly put some heaters in there, actually. Uh, because when... Let's just look at this from above. Hopefully that's enough. We want to cover that whole area without warming up the people enough. I just want to make sure, guys, that they don't get any snow. Because they don't be liking snow. Uh, if we take a look in the book, if we click on them, and then we can go down here to the Zoopedia. Um, they like it to be between 16 and 40 degrees Celsius. So if we just click back on this heater again. Uh, if we leave it at 30, that's just fine. That's absolutely fine. That will stop the snow, obviously, and everything. So that is cool. That'll heat that whole area that that circle was covering. So that's good. Um, we got some donation bins around, guys. Hopefully this will make some money. I'm not sure if it will. No, I did not want to click on you, my friend. Zero dollars so far. Okay. Not ideal, guys, but to be honest, we've only just opened this. This enclosure looks pretty rubbish, guys. Hopefully, we're going to start making some decent money now. So there's just a few little things in here just to get, to get, get the zoo going. And then we can start putting in some really nice paths around and uh, some really, really cool enclosures. So that's the plan there, guys. So... Yeah, um, bears still going fine, I think. I think we've got a few uh, things here. Oh, the vet research is complete again. Um, we've researched a lot of grizzly bear stuff, so I'm going to put the vet onto here. I'm actually going to hire another vet because we need one to walk around. Uh, vet, there we go. We need one to walk around and make sure everything's going good. There's the vet there. Uh, we need to go to staff. That is David Flanagan. And Mr. David Flanagan, your work zone is going to be grizzly. There we go. All right, very cool, very cool, guys. That's all going well. What else do we have? Your zoo has no security guard. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we also have adopt and place two different habitat species. All right, a grand. That's good. We want that. What else can we have? At least 300 guests in the zoo. We're close to that as well. Reduce crime. Have no crime for three months. Okay. Um, I don't think we are getting that much crime, so I don't really want to pay for a guy yet if we're not getting that much crime. So, you know, it's not super necessary. Um, I think we can put in a few more food places around here and stuff like that. Um, maybe a few more food places here. They can come sit over here and things like that. But, yeah, it's probably close to uh, getting some more animals in here and things. And uh, next episode, I really hope that this money is just going to jump up and we can start doing, like, terrain things because that's what costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to dig holes and build mountains and things. So we will get onto that very soon. And, yeah, we will start updating everything and making it look a lot cooler. But for now, we're just trying to make some money because if you start spending money on all the decorations now, you have a big problem. So what are we lacking? Education. Uh, yes. The grizzly bears, though, we should have updated that. When you research uh, the grizzly bears and things like that, you get, like... Yeah, so we've researched up to level 3 now because we've done so much research on the bears, so that's really cool. That means the people are getting more information. Um, but I think we're going to start researching these guys now. Um, and we need to put obviously put in some more of these signs. Facilities. Uh, guest facilities. No, hang on. Uh, it's under viewing and stuff like that. We want one of these. Which way is this facing? Oh, it was facing the right way, guys. If we put that right there. And then we want to place one more of these. Place it there. Because no one seems to be looking from right there anyway. And we can click on it. Put on the aardvark. There we go. People are learning about the aardvark now as well. Very cool. And we're getting donations, guys. I just seen that. There we go. 320, 40 bucks in there. 520 in there. 340. Oh, guys, we're just raking in the money now. Yeah, these donation box guys, if you guys are playing through this, make sure you're doing that right. Make sure you're putting them everywhere. Okay, what we're going to do now, guys, is fix this entrance because there's going to be a lot more people in here soon, I think. Oh, must have got a reduced crime. No crime for three months. Okay. That's a big load of money as well. Zoo challenges. If you don't like a pop particular challenge, then you can discard it. It will refresh after some time. No, we'll almost have this pretty soon as well. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, is move this stuff around a bit. I think we're going to move this back. All these people are going to be very angry at me, but uh, let's pause the game for now. 
I think what we need to do is move this stuff back. That's a whole group. That is fantastic. So we can grab that and we can uh, move it back. So we're going to press M. Actually, let's just press X. Uh, why can't we move it right now? Editing. Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to select all of it and then move it all backwards. How can I? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not everything. Exit out of that. I want to click on this and hopefully that grabs everything. And then we want to move it back here. Move it back to there. There we go. Okay, we can fix the paths now. Um, but they're out of the way now, so that's very good. I'm getting very confused with some of these controls. Uh, we want to move this out of the way as well. Hopefully this actually there's probably people in here. We want to move this over to no, I'm gonna put it right where it was. But just swish swish it around this way. Yeah, let's put it there and move these bins somewhere else. These bins can get moved. Um, let's move the bin to this side, I suppose. I'll get another one. Get the other one, move that over here as well. There we go. Um, okay, those are out of the way, and this information hut needs to move back as well. And you know what? It's making its own path. That is that is just fantastic. Okay, I'm hoping that if we get the paths now, they can be a little funny. We need to align to grid. No, align to grid. Let me pick a grid. That one. Obstructed by what? What is going on, guys? These paths do confuse me a lot. Okay. Well, we can do that, apparently. Uh, we actually don't need that. But that can go. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, we want to go out here, but all these people are in the way. What's it obstructed by? I'm confused. Why is the land funny here? I fixed up all the land before. Hmm. I'm annoyed that the land isn't, like, strictly... You know what, guys? That, that'll do for now. We'll be able to fix all this stuff later. Okay, we can get rid of this just by clicking on these. Oh, dear. We want to go back from that. We definitely don't want that. I really thought that I had fixed all this ground up. Well, for now, guys, I'm going to leave that because the paths confuse me. So, um, I hope that's not annoying you. It's definitely annoying me. But they can get to it, so they're all going to be surprised. Wait, where have all those people gone? Did we just transport them somewhere else? I don't know. I have no idea. We probably shouldn't have done that. But anyway, people are lining up. They can walk across all this mess, so that's fine. This guy's cleaning everything up, and the money is rolling in, guys. We have 10,000 now because of all the challenges we just completed. Um, it looks like we're going to need to get a security guard at some stage, so let's get a security guard. He can just sort of uh, go everywhere. Oh, VIP. We got some uh, VIPs. Say hello. Make sure you say hello to VIPs, guys. Um, yeah, make sure you say hello to them. And then I don't know what this is. Um, because you get, you get points for that. I don't know why, but you do. Those are uh, other people who are playing at the moment. They're not actually in my zoo having a look, but, you know, they're there. Um, it's just like their avatars coming for a look. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, where are my little aardvarks? Oh, there they are. They're chilling. You can only have two of these guys as well. You can have a male and a female. I think you can have, like, two males. I'm not sure. Alrighty, guys. So it's raining, so I didn't want to do any building. But we have now researched some aardvark stuff. So we can probably, even though it's... It's raining and it looks terrible. Is that flashlight on? Yes, okay, it's even worse without that. Um, we can go to habitat and go to enrichment. We're already on the aardvark. I really would have thought we would have got some stuff here, but we do now have a barrel. Okay, cool. So now they have, like, um, food enrichment as well, which is just these little barrels everywhere that they can uh, eat out of. Cool. Is there any more toys? Climbable stuff? No? Okay, but that should make them a lot happier, I'd say. Let's check down. So there's still not enough plants. Okay. 
Okay, okay. They want more plants, guys. We can give them more plants. It is dark and terrible around here, but let's have a look what else is in here. We got a small vine curtain or something. I, I don't know what half this stuff is. We're going to get really inventive with a lot of this stuff later on, but we're not putting a giant tree like that in there. What the heck? How are you supposed to use them? Um, let's put that over there. I think we just need a few more little plants. Ooh, they, they have nettles. They like nettles? Okay, well, I mean, I suppose they probably don't like them, but that's what's in there. Um... Oh, the aardvarks are about to mate. They might make a baby. That'd be fantastic. We could have a baby aardvark. We'd have to get rid of him once he grew up, though. Because they don't like living together, do they? Um, okay, we'll put some nettles over there. There's quite a few different types of nettles there. And some random trees like this. I think they've got enough trees. Yeah, they've definitely got enough trees. I think we need to put some more, like, smallish plants in there. Um, hmm. Elephant grass? Oh, yeah, that's cool as well. Put some elephant grass around here. Switch it around so it doesn't look exactly the same everywhere. And then just hit Z. Alright, there we go. Are there plants? Wait, what? I thought they'd be happy. Why are you not happy about plants? I, I'm confused, guys. Oh, too much coverage. Too much coverage. What the heck is going on? Okay, so you don't want the plants. Too many trees, I think. Now what are you saying, my friend? I should have read more into that, shouldn't I? Okay. So there's still too much coverage. Does that mean trees? They like being out in the open more? There we go. We fixed it. There's too many... Oh, no. They're, they're still happier, though. There's, there's too many trees, I think. Right, if we get rid of some of these things... Should be about right then. Right, there we go. They're in a happier place. Everything is fine. 95% welfare. That is pretty good. Uh, offspring due March of year 4. Cool. Are our bears going to mate at any stage? Our bears are happy. Our bears are pretty happy. That's good. Oh yeah, grizzly bear's about to have offspring. That's cool. We'll get to see a baby bear and a baby aardvark soon. Well, guys, it's night time and there's a big poop right next to it. But there is a baby bear now. Look how cool this little dude is. He is just hanging out. So, guys, we got a, we got a baby bear in the zoo. We built another aardvark enclosure. I think next episode we'll go a bit hardcore and we'll build a really, really cool hippo enclosure. I think that is the plan for next episode. So, if you want to see that, I hope you tune in. I'm... Our bears are all sleeping, except for the baby bear. He's running around. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And I will see you guys in the very next episode.